How to change the material of a mesh asset with C++ in Unreal? That one should not be too too difficult, but I had a few requests for it, so let's get to it. So as usual, I'm in a pretty empty header file, and now we're going to add the only function we need today. So here it is. I'm going to use this function to assign a material to a mesh asset. So either a static mesh or a skeletal mesh, we're going to support both inside this function. And the first parameter that we need to be able to do that well is the path of the mesh we want to assign the material to. So well, I need my mesh path. So here it is, I have the path of my mesh, either a static mesh or a skeletal mesh, as I said, and then we need a material path. So the path of the material we want to assign to the skeletal mesh or static mesh. So yeah, super simple, super straightforward. We just need the path of the material we want to assign. And finally, we have a third parameter, which is the material ID. So the slot, the material slot we want to use to assign the material to the mesh. So if the mesh has five material, maybe you want to change the third one or the fourth one. And that's where we're going to specify which material ID we want to use to assign the material. Perfect. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's the only function we needed today. So let's jump in the CPP. And here we're going to start with the includes. And that's actually super simple because we need to change the material of either a static mesh or a skeletal mesh. So let's include both of those. That way we'll be able to change the material of either a static mesh or a skeletal mesh. No problem. And that's it. We don't have to change anything in the build.cs file because both of those are inside the engine module, which is a default module that you probably already the app in your build.cs file. So we can skip that step and now it's time to jump into the logic of the function. And to assign the material to a mesh, well, the first step is going to be to load the assets that we need. So we need the mesh asset and the material asset. So let's start by the material because it's the simpler one. I'm just going to load my material asset just like that using static load object. It's going to be a U object, doesn't really matter. And I'm going to feed it the material path, the path of the material I want to apply to my static or skeletal mesh. And then I can cast it to the U material interface, which is the type of object we want to apply to the static or skeletal mesh. So I have my material. Perfect. Now I'm ready to apply it to the static mesh or skeletal mesh. But first we have to load the mesh asset. So using my mesh path right here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a static load object using the mesh path and I'm going to load a potential mesh. That one's just going to be a U object for now because we don't know is it a static mesh or a skeletal mesh. So since we don't know at that point, I'm just going to leave it a U object and then we're going to add ask Unreal, okay, is this a static mesh or a skeletal mesh that you just gave me? Because we loaded the object, we know that there's an object there, now we just need to know what type of object it is, and that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to cast my potential mesh to either a static mesh or a skeletal mesh to know is it a static mesh or a skeletal mesh, because both of those meshes don't have the same function and are not the same class. So here my potential mesh can either be a static mesh or a skeletal mesh, cannot be both because it's not the same class. So here I'm just going to check, okay, is this a static mesh or is this a skeletal mesh? It's going to set both those variables. One of them is going to be null for sure. The other one is going to be valid. Uh, we don't know which one it is depending on the mesh that we received as input. We now have two potential meshes, either a static mesh or a skeletal mesh, and we're going to process both of those. So first, uh, if the static mesh is valid, so if it's not null, it means that, well, we have a static mesh and we want to apply the material to the static mesh. So let's do it right here. And the first step, uh, actually, when I'm applying a material to a static mesh, I just want to make sure that the material ID makes sense. If the user gave us a material ID that doesn't make sense, so let's say minus 555, it's not really good. We're not going to be able to set a material to that material ID. Same thing if the material ID is a huge number like 10,900 whatever, it's going to be way too big. The material ID doesn't exist on the mesh. The mesh doesn't have enough material for that material ID. So that's why right here I'm just clamping it. I'm clamping my material ID between zero, which is the minimum amount of material ID, and and the number of material that is on my mesh. So here on my static mesh, I'm getting the static mesh material and I'm getting the quantity of those material to make sure that my material ID makes sense. It's between zero and the maximum amount of material that are available on the mesh. So good. I have a valid material ID right here. And now we're ready to apply the material to the mesh using that valid material ID. And that's what I'm doing right here. On my static mesh, I'm setting the material using the real material ID, which is the one we just calculated right there. And also, the material that we loaded at the beginning of the function and that's it now the material is assigned to the static mesh perfect one last thing though we're just going to do a post edit change to make sure that the visual of the static mesh gets updated in the edit
editor because the editor doesn't know that the material changed now we're just going to tell it ourselves that we changed something and now it's time to refresh its visual perfect so that's it for the static mesh that was super simple but now we have to process the skeletal mesh in the case that that was not a static mesh the static mesh was no now maybe the skeletal mesh is valid so let's do that i'm going to check okay is my skeletal mesh valid if it's valid it means that well we have to assign the material to a skeletal mesh and not a static mesh but the first time is still going to be the same i'm still going to recalculate the real material id to make sure that the material id makes sense when we apply the material to the skeletal mesh so here i'm just going to clamp it again using the material id i receive as input zero as minimum and this time i'm going to use the skeletal mesh material so in the skeletal mesh i'm doing a get materials it's a little bit different than the get static materials that we have right here so that's why we have to process them a little bit differently the functions are different but the idea is the same now i have a clamped material id and now i can use that clamped material id to apply the material to the proper material index and that's what i'm doing right here so in my skeletal mesh i'm getting all the materials and then i'm getting the material i'm interested in so the one in the proper material id that i have right here and then i'm overwriting it using the material that we loaded at the beginning of the function for the skeletal mesh there's no pretty set material function that we can use to set the material to the proper id we have to do it ourselves so that's why right here i'm getting the array of material and i'm overwriting the material that i'm interested in so the material id that we have right here is the one we're going to replace with the material that we loaded at the beginning of the function and then one last thing posted a change same thing we have to tell the mesh that it has to update itself because we changed something in the meshes visual perfect so that's it we now updated the static mesh and the skeletal mesh now i'm just going to add a little bit of log before going back in unreal so here if the object that we loaded was not a static mesh nor a skeletal mesh it means that we're not going to be able to assign a material to both of those meshes because it's neither of them so maybe the static load object right here that we loaded at the beginning the mesh path maybe it was leading to a texture or an animation blueprint and in those cases we can't really apply a material to a texture that will not make sense so here i'm just going to return false because it's not a static mesh nor a skeletal mesh so i'm not able to assign a material because that's not a mesh so yeah that's the last warning I want to print and finally I can simply say that yes I was able to apply a material to the mesh and then I can just print a little bit of log right here to say that I was able to apply it properly and that's it now it's time to jump in Unreal to test all that so as usual in Unreal I created myself a nice user interface that I have right here to be able to test everything super quickly so here I have first my path of my material that I want to assign to my mesh or static mesh so here it is I have my material path and then I have my mesh path so either static mesh or a skeletal mesh on which we want to apply the material and finally the material id so we can change the spin box right here to decide which material id we want to use for the material and then when we click on the assign material button it should call the new function we just created in the graph right here assign the material to mesh asset feeding it the path of the mesh the path of the material and also the material id decided by the spin box perfect so let's go test to see if it works i'm going to run my user in store utility widget that i have right here and before testing that i'm actually just going to open the two meshes we're going to use today so my static mesh chicken and my skeletal mesh chicken that we have uh, right here we can see that both chickens are pretty gray and they don't have that many materials uh, this one has three material slot but only one is used and same thing in the static mesh i only have one material that is really used all the other ones are set to the default grid material that we have in unreal and now if i click on assign material it should apply the material to my static mesh chicken in the index zero because that's what i decided right here I I can change index to let's say two it should apply the material to the index two same thing if i change it back to one apply it to the first one and finally the third one right here so we can see that it changed the visual of my static mesh using the material that i wanted to apply to it and then let's do the same thing for the skeletal mesh so i'm going to go in my skeletal mesh i'm going to change the name of my chicken right here to make sure that it points to my skeletal mesh chicken this time i'm going to set the material id to the maximum material id i can so five which is way more than the amount of material indexes that we have right here and we can see that if i click on assign material it assigned the material to the last material id that was available for us because i clamped it in the code so good it assigned it to the last one and then i can let's say apply it to the first index the index zero which is going to affect the visual of my chicken because my chicken is really just using the first material id so here it is now my skeletal mesh also has a nice new material assigned to it so good i guess that's gonna be it for today's video and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye